my name is Christy. I am a professional dancer and singer on cruise ships and I'm about to get ready for a show and I thought we could do a little get ready with me Q&A. I have a few commonly asked questions written down on my phone so I'm going to go ahead and do my makeup and answer some questions. A lot of people have questions about my job just because it's such a fascinating job to have living on a cruise ship professionally. So whether you're interested in working on ships or you're an avid cruiser or you're just curious, I hope you will join me for this little get ready. It's a port day today. I just got back on board the ship. Let's get into it. So the first question I have written down is how long are your contracts? So I am a dancer and singer in the shows and the cast sign on the ship together and sign off the ship together kind of as a unit which is really handy because a lot of other positions on the cruise ship are lonely positions so they just sign on and off by themselves and it's all on a rotating basis but since I'm with the cast um, we rehearse in Miami Florida for about I would say this time it was about a month and a half but it really depends on how many shows you have and then after your rehearsal together then you all join the ship together and sign off together so my whole contract length I want to say was around eight months this time but it varies I feel like a lot of people have the idea that you don't sleep on board the ship which always makes me laugh um, I most certainly <laughs> sleep on board the ship. Sorry, I had to concentrate for that. Uh, but yeah, I sleep on board the ship and I live here for the full eight months. I've heard people say like, oh, the crew members live on land and they helicopter home every night. <laughs> Which just absolutely makes me laugh. That would be such a huge expense and also we're out in the middle of the ocean There's no way we could helicopter home every night <laughs> So a lot of us have roommates and it just depends on our position on board So the senior officers don't have roommates and they have their own cabin, but the lower positions like me uh, the dancers and singers in the shows we have roommates but the singers don't. The dancers have roommates, but the singers don't. So I have a roommate, which happens to be my husband. I'm very lucky. My husband is a officer on board the ship here. So I get to live with him, which is absolutely fantastic. I have a room tour on my TikTok if you're interested. And then I'm also going to do a more in-depth YouTube video where I break everything down about our cabin. We have a cabin steward who I adore. He is fantastic. And so he makes sure we have fresh sheets and towels. And he does my husband's laundry. The officers get their laundry done for them. But my position doesn't get their laundry done. So I do my own laundry. And I was teasing Jason because I, I told him like, oh, this contract, I'm going to do your laundry. I'm going to be such a good wifey. <laughs> And then he doesn't even need me to do his laundry because our cabin steward does it. But um, we're very lucky to have that. Most positions on board have a cabin steward. Um, that's how they train to become guest cabin stewards. So it's a good training ground and we always develop such a fun relationship with our cabin stewards. Okay, next question. Is the food good? <sighs> okay, here's the real tea on the food. So. I think the food is very good, but we have the same food all the time because we get to eat in guest areas, which is fantastic and I love it, but the guest area food is on a rotation because it's, if you think about it, like a cruise light, they're only going to be, if the cruise length is seven days, it's gonna be on a seven day rotation. So, you know, every Wednesday is going to be the same thing. Every Thursday is gonna be the same thing. So, it's fantastic when you're a guest because it's new to you the whole time. But for us crew members, it does get a little tedious, I will say, just because you're having the same thing over and over and over again. But I don't take it for granted because I don't really like cooking and I feel incredibly lucky that I don't have to cook. 
So um, even though it's not my most favorite thing in the whole entire world, this food, um, I feel very lucky I don't have to cook it and I won't complain about that. <laughs> we have a crew mess, which is a dining room just for crew members. And a lot of our crew members are all international. Um, I think we have 64 different nationalities on this ship right now, which is pretty cool. Um, and so you'll find a lot of their local dishes in the crew mess, which I think is really sweet. So they get like a little taste of home. Um, so it's not always something that I'm gonna be rushing to eat. Like I think probably my least favorite meal in the crew mess is fish heads. <laughs> and it is exactly as it sounds. It's cooked fish heads and they still got their eyeballs in them. and. I think they're breaded I don't know I just avoid the mess on fish head day um, but there's some good tasty things in there I've had I, I really like they do omelets in there a lot and so when I'm in a rush and I don't want to get dressed to go up to guest areas I will go get an omelet in the crew mess so that's pretty nice and also because a lot of team members are working they're not working 24 7 but we have staff working 24 7 so that way the ship is always being manned we make sure to have food in the crew mess not at all times but at odd times so we have a midnight mess which i love to go to after shows um and i just love to after i've cooled down i just go to the mess and just eat so much food after shows so those are for the team members who are working late like me um so there's always some food even when the guest buffet is closed which i really appreciate that i think my next question i had written down was wi-fi and how does that work keeping in touch with home so i feel really lucky with my company they give us free whatsapp chatting which is great so i can always chat with my family at home um and that's really important and vital i feel like to just keep your sanity to be in touch with family it's a huge blessing and you can't call on the whatsapp chat plan and you can't send photos or videos which is kind of annoying but i understand with the bandwidth and everything so then there's different social media plans or sorry different wi-fi plans that you can purchase after the free whatsapp chat plan so the lowest one is the social media chat plan which is you get all of the social media on your phone so that's instagram facebook i think snapchat pinterest but not tiktok unfortunately and you can do that for it's four dollars for 24 hours and I've heard that's kind of unique to my cruise line and that other cruise lines don't offer that. So that's pretty cool. I feel really, that's my favorite one. I use that one a lot. So I'll spend that $4 plan for 24 hours. And then there's other ones, I'm trying to think. So you, it, you can buy a hundred minutes of internet for $10 and you can log in and log out of it. So you can like log in, check your email really quick and then log out. So that's usually what I do. <laughs> Let me see what else we've got. Our crew parties, <laughs> our crew parties really that wild. I'm gonna answer such an annoying answer with this one and I'm going to say yes, but also no. So if you don't know, we have a crew bar and it's a hidden bar just for crew members and it's popping in there a lot. That's where everybody goes to relax and unwind after a long shift and people really enjoy it because besides you have to wear your name tag everywhere besides that there's no dress code like in guest areas we have a dress code um, but people will go to the crew bar like in their sweats and it's a very casual atmosphere and I think I think the alcohol is discounted I actually don't drink so I'm not sure about that but um, yeah everyone goes to crew bar to unwind and then on top of that we have crew parties and that is hosted by our HR services for it's basically just 
a health and wellness for crew members to make sure that everyone's being socialized and is in a good mental state because living on board a cruise ship for seven, eight, nine months at a time can be really tough on your mental health. And so they wanna make sure that we have lots of parties, which is very fun and exciting. So we have some really cool themed parties. I'm trying to think of some. There's a toga party I've been to before. One of my favorite is the uniform swap party where you find someone from another department and swap uniforms with them. So I haven't had a uniform swap party in a really long time, but I really want one because I want to wear my husband's officer uniform and he has stripes on his shoulders. So I really wanted to wear his stripes. And then there's an anything goes but clothes party and that's where you wear like bags from the gift shop or like people wear towels. I'm trying to think of what else they wear. But that's really fun and that's when everyone gets super, super, super creative. So I always really enjoy crew parties. I haven't been out a lot this contract, but um, it's always fun. They usually have two, three a month. Um, it's, it's pretty often. But to answer the question, are they wild? I think if you go looking for trouble, you will find it. And I'm not a troublemaker. I don't go looking for trouble. Um, so besides, I've just seen people drinking a lot of alcohol and just really dancing to the music. We have a DJ who comes and DJs um, the crew parties. So besides that, I haven't really seen anything too crazy. But again, I think if you really wanted to find it, you probably could. <laughs> How did you meet your husband? That's a cute one. I really want to go into a Q&A at some point with him and we can go more into our love story. But basically, he was a dancer in the shows with me and he was my dance partner. And I fell in love with him. And we started dating and it's been fantastic. We got married in 2020. Um, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really happy. I feel so lucky to be able to do ships with him. That's such a huge blessing. I always say that it takes a lot of prayer and a lot of emails to do ships with your partner. So how they do it with the HR team is that you can do what's called linking your ID. So that way in the system, my crew ID is linked with Jace's. And that's really handy when you're bidding for your next contract um, and so in the system it'll say oh Christy is linked with Jason they would like to be on the same ship it's not always a guarantee that you'll be on the same ship um, and also our contract links don't always meet up at the same time so I think my last contract I was on board for like 50 days before Jason came on board because his contract lengths are shorter. So um, we've been really lucky that our contract lengths have pretty much matched up for the most part. And our shore side team has been so sweet to try to sync everything up for us. So we've been lucky and I really, really want to keep doing ships with him. And I always say when I'm bidding for ships, I say it doesn't matter where I go. I just want to be with Jace because that's the most important thing for me. So a few weeks overlap here and there is really not a problem for me, but I don't think I could do a whole contract without him. That would make me so, so sad. And plus he's my roommate, so he's the guy I wanna live with. <laughs> oh, can your family be on board? This is a really interesting one that is kind of complicated. So basically they have a friends and family discount and so my mom comes on board and sails as a guest and she gets a normal stateroom just like everybody else but then there's also an option where if the crew member is an individual cabin crew member then someone can come on board and sail with them in their cabins for a very small amount of money per day it's absolutely fantastic but if you have a two occupancy cabin job like I do then you can't do that unfortunately and you can't have kids or spouses living on board with you unfortunately I get that question a lot people are like oh can I get a job on ships 
and my kid come and cruise with me. Unfortunately, they can come to visit, but they can't live there with you. It's just too much of a liability and there's no schooling for them or anything like that. So no family can live on board unless they're working. So Jason and I are obviously family, but we're both working, employed by my company. Can you get mail? That's a fun one. So yeah, my ship actually has an address that I can ship mail to. I actually just got the cutest little Zara ballet flats. I hope they work out. <laughs> but I ordered them and we have a address on land that's very near the actual cruise ship. Um, and so they receive all the mail and then every embarkation day on your home port. So my home port is Dover, England right now. So every Dover, when we get rid of the old guests and get the new guests on board, that is mail day. I love mail day. And that's when all the packages come on board. So nothing time sensitive, um, like flowers or anything I would send to this address. It's just stuff that can sit and hang out there for a while. And then I just get it next embarkation day it can be very stressful sometimes because um sometimes if you have to get a signature or something for a delivery you have to really try to coordinate that with the place that is receiving your mail but i haven't had a problem yet knock on wood <laughs> but i have heard of many people losing their packages so i try not to send anything incredibly valuable to this address i'm gonna go ahead and do my lipstick All right, lipstick done. I am going to do my hair. I will see you in one second. And that is my show hair done. I play a cowgirl in tonight's show. It's very like Daisy Duke energy. I could go on for hours talking about this. Let me know in the comment section if you have any more questions for me to answer. I'd love to do more of these. Feel free to like and subscribe if you are so inclined. I am going to go ahead and prep for tonight's show. Bye.